I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today the time has come. I have updated my curly hair product collection. I'm proud to say that I have surpassed most drugstores ethnic curly section. This is literally more than in stores and um, it's grown a lot since last year. So just as an FYI, this smaller bookshelf was from Target. It was about $25, but they discontinued it so I couldn't buy another one. But then I found this one at Walmart for I believe $29. And as you can see, the shelves are much longer so I get more space and I really like these. But that's enough about the shelves. Let me show you all the products in my collection. Starting on the top shelf, Diva Curl is still winning for the most products category, so it gets its own shelf. I did put them on top. So I have my Diva Curl No Poo Decadence as well as the conditioner in the Decadence line. I have my Melt Into Moisture Deep Conditioning Treatment, which is one of my favorite deep conditioners. Build Up Buster is amazing on my scalp. I have a lot of Build Up Buster. I have the Wash Day Wonder, the Leave-In Decadence, Super Cream, Deep Sea Repair, great mask if you have any hair damage or heat damage. Ultra Defining Gel and Archangel Gel. I think it's safe to say that I do love the Archangel Gel more than the Ultra Defining Gel because it has more hold. So this is my new favorite Diva Curl Gel. I have the Believe In Set It Free, Mr. Right. I have their hairspray. And of course, the Diva Curl Super Stretch. I know many of you are waiting for me to review the Super Stretch. I haven't done a full video on it yet. I've only used it once, and the one time I did use it, it was great for a wash and go. Very similar to the Super Cream. I don't know if I noticed a lot of elongation per se. I think it's better for type 4 hair and if you're doing a twist out. So if you're someone who's really good at doing twist outs or bantu knots and you want that elongated look, that's probably where this will come in. I just don't do a lot of those styles, so I haven't really got around to experimenting just yet. Moving on down, I have my Shea Moisture collection. Fun fact, Shea Moisture was the first brand that I reviewed on my channel and the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie is still one of my favorite Shea Moisture products to this date. The whole coconut and hibiscus line is probably my still favorite Shea Moisture line even though they have a million of them now. But I have a bunch of different ones. I also love their low porosity line. I like their Manuka Honey and Yogurt one. It's really good for repairing your hair. And one of my favorite shampoos in general is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter, peppermint and apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is really good for your scalp and this is a very like watery shampoo but it does a great job. On this shelf I also have one bottle of my Eco Styler gel. This is their olive oil one. I don't have too much Eco Styler. And I have some of my Maui Moisture, another very affordable drugstore line. Sulfate paraben silicone free. I have one mask, a styler and shampoo and conditioner. My next row is my Cantu and Briogeo section. Cantu has their color protecting shampoo and conditioner. They have their natural hair line. My favorite one is probably the Curl Activator Cream. I also have their new texture line. I haven't done a full video on these yet, but they are sulfate paraben silicone free, so they're probably amazing. They have their sleek line and their treat line, and this includes a mask, defining cream, shampoo, conditioner, gel, just about everything you need. So Cantu is a very affordable line found at most drugstores. Riogio is a more high-end product line sold at Sephora or their website. I have their Curl Charisma line, which is their shampoo, conditioner. They have a Curl Charisma gel and styling cream. And then they also have their Do Not Despair line, which is really good for damaged, heat damaged curls to revive your curls back to life. The next shelf down here is my Curl Keeper, Naughty, and Mark Anthony section. So my Curl Keeper is one of my favorite curly hair brands of all time. Their gel is amazing. I have their Slip Detangler, their Tweak, their Styling Cream, and their Original. And then I have my Naughty section. Naughty is a brand that's 97% natural. Also sulfate paraben silicone free. I have their Wave Hello line. I have their To The Rescue line. 
their blonde locks. They also have a styling cream and a leave-in conditioner. Over here is the new Marc Anthony Bye Bye Frizz Silicone Free Collection. I was so excited when I first found out that they finally made a silicone free line. So I hope to review these for you guys very soon. And my very last shelf on this one, I have some raw sugar products. These are also sulfate paraben silicone free. They have shampoos, conditioner, and a hair mask. I have not done a full video on them yet. I don't think. Then I have the fat boy line. They have a edge control for really slick ponytails. In the back over there, I have some hair perfume that I haven't really used yet. I have one thing, Atelier Wajid, that's their curly hair souffle. I've got some coconut oil hiding back there. And I just reviewed these Garnier Fructis one minute hair masks. So that video is now on my channel. I have all five of them. Over here, I also have all of my hair growth gummies and vitamins. I actually haven't tried any of these because I haven't been able to commit to a full like 30 day trial for you guys, but Jenna Dore has gummies. Camille Rose has pills or vitamins. Curls Blueberry Bliss has a liquid hair growth vitamin, but I haven't tried any of these, so I can't vouch for them per se, but I have them in case I wanna try them one day. This whole section right here is all of my oils. I have jojoba oil, I have Jamaican black castor oil, tea tree oil, just to name a few. And then I have the righteous root oil, which I'm hoping to commit to next. This is my new dry shampoo section. I have one by Cake that I got in my Ipsy bag. I have IGK and I have Renew dry shampoo. Haven't tried this one yet, but I'm going to now that I know how to use dry shampoo. Stay tuned for a dry shampoo video. And then I have all of my hair colors. So you guys might have seen me spray my hair purple. I use this Hush Prism. And then for Halloween, I used this brand so if i ever want to do any fun crazy temporary colors i got a bunch to choose from down here back to the top on this shelf i have carol's daughter camille rose and the rizos curls these are the carol's daughter's products that don't have sulfate parabens or silicone i was so excited that they finally released a silicone free line so i'm a super fan of the green supreme and the cocoa cream those conditioners have amazing slip, possibly some of my favorite conditioners in general. I haven't tried the Cactus Rose Water yet. I probably should do that in my next wash day, actually, now that I'm looking at it. This is why it's important to organize your stash, because you don't even know what you have. Next down the line is Camille Rose, Camille Rose Naturals. I think my favorite Camille Rose product is the Curl Maker. This is a really good gel, but they're known for having really good ingredients. And Rizos Curl. The Rizos Curls is a Latina owned, women owned brand. You only can get them really online right now. But I have their shampoo, their deep conditioner, their curl defining cream, and her refresh detangling spray. Amazing products, you should try them. The next row down here, I have Not Your Mother's and a little bit of Trey Lux. Not Your Mother's has almost deserved its own shelf. I'm like one line away from having to kick out the Trey Lux in this, uh, level. They have their high moisture line, shampoo, conditioner, and some stylers. I have their curl defining line. I have the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. That was a very exciting line launch. Their defining cream, their sculpting gel, shampoo, and conditioner. And one of my recent favorites, which is their activated bamboo charcoal and purple moonstone line. I use this in my Halloween video when I had to rinse out all that pink and purple temporary hair color and it did a great job at cleansing my hair and it also has a little scalp scrub that worked wonders and one of my favorite deep conditioners i think i've said that like three times now but this is for real the not your mother's matcha green tea and wild apple blossom this stuff right here oh it smells so good wow this might be my absolute favorite okay this is my favorite deep conditioner. It smells so good. It's affordable. All the Not Your Mother's lines are like $10 and Ulta always has a buy one, get one 50% off sale going on. 10 fluid ounces. It's just a great hair mask. I definitely recommend. And then I have my Trey Lux. I haven't used Trey Lux in a while. They're also only sold online at select Whole Foods, but they have a really good curl defining styling gel and their curl supreme hydrating cream is also amazing 
the next section is a bunch of mixtures, actually. I have my Genador Beauty, one of my favorite gels. They have a great line, only sold online right now. Next to it, I have Soul Ingredients. I haven't tried them yet, but this was made by the owners of the salon of where I did my meet and greet and bellflower, so I'm excited to try her line. Next to them is my favorite, absolute, go-to, greatest of all time gel, the Dippity Doo girls with curls jelly this is my ultimate unicorn it's so hard to find you got to go to like random marshals and pray that it's there you can find it online sometimes but they're a Canadian brand it's an old-school brand but nothing gives me amazing curls like my dippity do gel next to it is book Lem. I've done a whole video on them this is a UK brand pretty good not like my ultimate favorite but they have natural ingredients Next to them is curls. I don't have too much curls. Actually, I have my Blueberry Bliss jelly. Where is my mask? Hmm. My curls mask is also a really good deep conditioner. Next to them, I have Bounce Curl. It took me forever to be able to review Bounce Curl, but they finally sent me some. And I have their Light Cream Gel, which is an amazing gel. So if gels get too hard for you, but you still like the cream, this is a mixture of both. Definitely recommend. Next to Bounce Curl, I have Amika. All I have is their defining cream and their gel. I have a video on them, I believe. Yeah, I do. These worked really well. And next to them is Pacifica. Haven't used this wavy one yet. I'll probably move that down somewhere. But I was so excited to review the pineapple line. You guys know I'm obsessed with pineapples. So this is their Pineapple Hydrate Curl Nourishing Mask. And they have a shampoo and conditioner. Smells amazing, cutest packaging, and really affordable. Also one of the few lines of Pacifica that is sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. In this section, I have a lot of pink, starting with my Jane Carter Solutions. I really like their leave-in conditioner. That's one of the first leave-ins that I really liked. They also have an elongating gel and the brand that you guys keep asking me to review, which is Lust. So Lust brand, they sent me two different stylers, their kinky coily and their curly one, but I really want to get their shampoo conditioner so I could try everything together to do a full review. So that's why this review hasn't happened yet, but they are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. Hoping to do a video very soon. Next on over is the Myel Organics. They have a styling gel. I have their shampoo, conditioner, mousse, and one of my favorite Myel products is their deep conditioner. It smells amazing and it has great slip. Definitely in my top deep conditioners. The next shelf under here is kind of like my unicorn section. There's a bunch of randoms in this section and a lot of brands that don't have a complete line of sulfate, paraben, silicone free products, but these are just like the ones that make the cut. So for example, I just found out that not the, all of the Olaplex products are sulfate, paraben, silicone free, but number three is good, so I will be using that one. Only these two Bumble and Bumble products are the ones that I'd use because it's sulfate free and silicone free. The rest of the products, not so much. Uh, I have some Eden Body Works, those should all check out. This is Nature Lab. Their shampoo is silicone free, but unfortunately their conditioner is not. You guys just saw me review Pros. I might do a part two on this because I learned that there was a mistake with my formula. So uh, stay tuned for a possible update on that. Plentiful has two stylers that are sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Pure Oils, Hair Butter is sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Maintain is a brand that I'm hoping to do a full review on soon. They're very affordable products and all of their products are curly girl friendly and we dad. We dad finally made it to a higher shelf because this is one of their first lines that has no sulfates, no parabens, no silicone. Only these products. I can't vouch for the styling cream or any other ones, but these are okay, so they made it to the happy shelf. But where they don't wanna be is on the shelf below that. This is basically my curly hair product graveyard. These products either have sulfate, silicone, or I just didn't like them. Just to name a few, there's the Weed Ad styling cream that doesn't check out out of that line. Some of the Carol's Daughter has silicone or sulfate. Some Mark Anthony products have silicone. Wasn't really a fan of Texture ID. Some of the Olaplex has silicone. Miss Jessie's, some of them have silicone. 
Uh, what else is in here? These are just kind of like my whatever products, but once I get some new ones, they're gonna have to move out. Whew, so there you go. Every single curly hair product that I own in my curly hair collection. I have full video reviews, tutorials, wash days, demonstrations on just about all the products behind me, a good 90% of them. So if you wanna know more information about any of the products that you just saw, there's a very good chance that I have a full video on it. So make sure you check out my curly hair playlist so you could see every product I've ever reviewed. I really wanna know what are your favorite curly hair brands and or products? Leave me a comment down below so I know. And who am I missing from my collection? What would you like me to review next? Make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm really, really trying to get to 300,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so if you're not subscribed, Push the button, you won't regret it. I review makeup and skincare products on Friday and curly hair products every Sunday. So come back and join the Bianca Renee Today family. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee Today.